Embarking on a spiritual awakening is often depicted as a journey of enlightenment, but it's not always a path paved with companionship. The process, aptly named the Dark Night of the Soul, brings forth profound internal transformations that can lead to a sense of isolation. This piece delves into the intricate relationship between spiritual awakening, the dark night of the soul, and the often perplexing absence of friends during this transformative period. Spiritual awakening is a deeply personal and introspective journey, urging individuals to question their existence and the meaning behind their relationships. The Dark Night of the Soul, a concept deeply rooted in spiritual and psychological traditions, represents a phase where individuals confront their innermost fears, unresolved traumas, and the shadow aspects of their being. In this intense period of self-reflection, the quest for spiritual enlightenment may inadvertently lead to a distancing from conventional social connections. Once integral to our lives, friends may find themselves on the periphery as we grapple with the complexities of our existence. This is not a rejection of friendship, but a natural consequence of the internal shifts occurring during the dark night of the soul. The dark night of the soul challenges the status quo of one's beliefs, values, and perceptions. As individuals undergo a profound metamorphosis, their priorities and interests may change, creating a misalignment with the social circles they once belonged to. This unsettling nature of change can create a sense of detachment, making it challenging to maintain the same level of connection with friends who may not be on a similar spiritual journey. Moreover, the intense introspection and emotional turbulence experienced during the dark night can make engaging in superficial or small talk challenging. Many individuals going through this transformative phase crave deep, meaningful conversations that explore the essence of existence, which may not always align with the typical topics of casual social interactions. Articulating the complexities of spiritual awakening, especially during the dark night of the soul, can be challenging. The language of the soul often transcends conventional communication, and individuals may find it difficult to express their experiences to friends who are not undergoing a similar journey. Conversations about existential questions, the nature of consciousness, and the intricacies of the spiritual path may feel foreign or even intimidating to those not on a parallel quest for self-discovery. As a result, individuals navigating the dark night may withdraw from social interactions or seek out like-minded individuals who can better comprehend and resonate with their evolving perspectives. While the dark night of the soul may create distance from existing friendships, it can also pave the way for new, meaningful connections. As individuals evolve spiritually, they may attract people who resonate with their transformed energy and share similar paths of self-discovery. The solitude experienced during the dark night becomes a fertile ground for cultivating a deeper connection with oneself. Individuals become more attuned to their inner being and may find solace in solitude, appreciating the richness of their own company. This newfound self-contentment can be a magnet for authentic connections with others who are also on a journey of self-realization. Blending solitude and friendship during the dark night of the soul requires understanding the transformative nature of spiritual awakening. It's crucial to recognize that the temporary isolation from friends does not diminish the value of those relationships, rather, it signifies a period of profound internal exploration. For those undergoing spiritual awakening, maintaining open lines of communication with friends, even if the conversations are challenging, can foster understanding. Communicating the changes and transformations is essential, allowing mutual respect and space for individual growth. 